Hello people and welcome to Crypto Exposed. Is Zach Rector right? Will Ripple back their USD with XRP? Okay guys, we've got a video here from Zach Rector and I thought I'd just add my little two cents into this. Um, found it an interesting video. And um, yeah, I just, I just wanted to give my opinion on it as always because, you know, I always like to see what people have to say, influencers, etc. other than just myself because, you know, I always accept that there could be things that you could be, uh, you know, you could learn, you know, there's things that you could learn from other influencers, stuff like that, or just other opinions that can make you think differently or they may have access to other pieces of information or just information that you may not have seen. So I um, thought I'd touch up on this. So let's get into this. So first and foremost, in terms of, you know, before we get to the actual uh, back in the, the, the USD with XRP, he talks about basically, you know, him covering the whole idea of is XRP no longer needed? Um, he does go to it into great detail because he said he's done a video on it very recently. I've also done a video on this, so I'm not gonna, I'm really not gonna touch on this subject for too long. But, um, the long story short is Zach Rector does not believe that, you know, XRP is now obsolete due to the stable coin. I absolutely agree. Um, the simple answer to this, if you really just want to know that the real truth to it is there's just alternative options now for people. Like, for example, with ODL. Now, we've got to just face facts, guys. Like, we're in the middle of this whole lawsuit with, uh, the SEC in regards to institutional sales which were actually deemed securities contracts right and so in regards to that uh we're still waiting on a decision now let's just say worst case scenario it does get found that um odl in terms of in the united states cannot be utilized with xrp as they are deemed as investment contracts well if that's the case then the stablecoin is the only alternative to use in the United States. So at that point, they haven't really got a choice. However, if it is deemed that, you know, there is some kind of leeway given where they say, you know, as long as you meet in this criteria, etc., then XRP can operate um, in uh, the United States via ODL, etc., under certain criteria, then cool, as long as they follow that criteria, then, you know, XRP will get the pass. Now, there's one thing just to add to that one little caveat is how technical are those thresholds or criteria going to be, right? Because if the criteria is really um, tricky and technical, it, it might be a thing where they just think it's just not even worth trying to make this work with XRP in the United States. It's better we just use the stablecoin anyway, right? So it really does depend on what the, the criteria would be in that regard. But um, the, the other thing is just look, they can now just offer to clients hey you don't have to use xrp right because i've said this before there are some companies who are still you know um not necessarily crypto savvy or not crypto friendly they might not be ready to adopt crypto yet so they might be willing to use odl but they might think okay i would rather use a stable coin because although a stable coin is still a cryptocurrency it's basically just a digital representation of the dollar right so it's a lot more tied to the dollar than it is an actual cryptocurrency so that might be like the the nearest they're willing to go at this point in time until you know crypto is further adopted regulated etc um, in terms of utilizing odl so it's just giving people that option and to me i've said this before the reason why i don't think that's necessarily a bad thing is because if they're going to use the stable coin, well, they wasn't going to use XRP anyway, right? So if they're going to use the, uh, if they're going to use the stable coin, well, that just means that at least, um, XRP still being utilized in some way as the gas token. So XRP still does get utilized, not as heavily as if it was being used directly for ODL, but it's still being, uh, indirectly being utilized as the gas token for the stable coin. So that is still a positive for XRP. Um, and if they wasn't going to use XRP in the first place, well, then what's the difference? At least they're using the alternative that gets a bit of action for XRP. Do you see what I'm saying? So I agree. I don't, I don't think this is going to be the end for XRP in that regard. Um, I think they're just basically maneuvering as best they can in the circumstances and giving people an alternative option. But XRP does make more sense to utilize. So in all honesty, I do think that's the better choice. And I think that's what people will go for more than the stablecoin if they have that option so anyway um we then get to 
uh, Zach mentioned is something here. And I, I will just say this straight away. Like, he, he doesn't say this is a guarantee. He says, you know, it's just a thought. It's just something that they could potentially do. Doesn't mean it's going to happen. Uh, doesn't mean it's a guarantee, right? But he says, you know, could Ripple back their stablecoin with XRP? And, you know, he's saying, yeah, like, he, you know, he's thinking that this is, you know, a real possibility. It could be something that's really big, whatever. Um, I had two thoughts that sprung to mind as soon as I heard this. And, and I'll be honest with you, I'm not sure if this is actually such a good idea. So the first thought I had, and this is more not necessarily whether it's a good idea. It's more just like, would they even allow that to happen? Um, okay, back in XRP uh, for the stablecoin, using XRP to back the stablecoin. Well, the problem with that is XRP is a volatile cryptocurrency, right? Like, yes, I get you can say that the dollar isn't necessarily like stable, but let's be honest, it is way more stable than the cryptocurrency. Like we can see how much crypto can fluctuate in, you know, bull markets and bear markets, right? So would they really want a cryptocurrency to back uh, what's supposed to be a representation of the dollar when, you know, one day you could have a way higher a currency representation in another day like I, i'm not sure if they would allow that because it's just so volatile so that was my first thought so i'm like eh, not so sure if that would even be allowed because of that and then my second thought about this and this is why i thought is it actually is this actually a positive if they were to do this um let's say the stable coin was to lose the peg for whatever reason wouldn't that mean that they would then need to sell xrp to get the uh to get the value back up to maintain the peg i believe that would be the process and if, if that's the case well that's not really good because if that's the case then they're essentially you know diluting the market right you know i don't want to say this word that everybody says but you know the, the dumping on the retail as they call it and now i you know i'm not going to call it that because i don't think that's what the intention is but you know it, it would be diluting the market in terms of flooding xrp back into the space right so um I, I, like i don't know if that would really be a good thing just because you know and, and don't get me wrong like if ripple can maintain the peg well without not needing to do this then i suppose just having the xrp there as a an added factor then okay fine but you know we, we've seen it with uh tether in the past and i think i think circles usdc have had it as well where they've had like bank runs on it and that's where like floods of people you know look to leave for whatever reason and it is a common thing if there's any kind of concern that they think's going on or they think that you know there's a problem with the company or something like that then they'll look to get out of the the stable coin or crypto or whatever right so i don't know if that would actually be a good idea to be completely honest with you so yeah that was just something that had me thinking um i've not really got a whole lot more to say on that i guess we'll see and as i say like if anybody's got any counterpoints to this then obviously feel free to to speak to me because this is just my off the top thoughts i've like kind of just heard this and just done a video straight reactive to it but yeah if i'm thinking rightly they would need to sell the xrp to get the cash you know back up to try and maintain the peg if the peg was to be lost and so that's that's not really something we would want to be honest with you so yeah like for me just hearing that as, as a first thought i'm not so sure that would be a good idea but um yeah let me know your guys thoughts because i'd like to know what other people think as i said before i'm always open to opinions and you know having conversations because you know i like to get other people's ideas and see if they can maybe change my mind but would you like that to be the case you know would you like this to be a thing where they were to uh back the ripple usd with xrp is this something that you guys would be in support of and, and if so tell me why you know because i'd I definitely like to know the why as well not just because it sounds good because sometimes you know you hear things and people make it sound good but then when you actually get into the technicality of it you know it, it doesn't seem as good as it what it sounds right so give me your reasonings as well but i'll leave it there let me know your thoughts guys i'd be interested to hear Thank you very much for watching this. If you did like it, please remember to drop a comment, like, and subscribe. But until next time, take care.